Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Today I'm going to be looking at the new detect uh, command that was added to the execute command. Now um, there's been a lot of confusion and a lot of questions about this command. All the detect does at this stage is detect a block relative to a player and if it finds that block it will then execute the next command in that command block. Okay, so in effect, you've got two kind of commands in one command block. One is can function like a test for, which then allows you to run a secondary command. Okay, now basically it is uh, execute at all. This is the way I'm using it. Now you can have any kind of player selector in here, uh, which I'll, I'll be using a player selector at a later stage, and you, you'll see. Um, then where you want to run this execute, then detect. And what it is, it needs to detect. For example, over here, here you can see that I'm going to look for a uh, stained hardened clay uh, that has got a data value of five, one block underneath me. And if it finds it, I'm going to say set the scoreboard player's timer to 100. Okay, now first off, the command is like, oh, whoop de doo you know, we can already do that. We can already do test for blocks or and uh, or uh, compare areas and clones and fills. And we can, I mean, this command can already be done. Yes, you can do this kind of command before, but you could never run a secondary command individual to a player without then using some kind of um, um, a comparator or something like that. So this is a phenomenal command because it runs that command at the actual player that successfully tested for it. Now, I've been playing with it for a bit. I've not come up with some of some all of the stuff, but what I've done is I've recreated some of the main mechanics that I've used in the past uh, with uh, the full command and the test for blocks. So this whole little mini game that I've got here, it's just a straightforward run map with a bit of a parkour added to it, is this size. It is this row of command, command blocks. So the, the mechanics behind it that actually makes it work is this row of command blocks over here. And then these command blocks is just the title commands, which you'll see when I, when I, when I use it, you'll see it kind of um, will be displayed in the center. But this over here runs the whole game, which is, for me is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so the first thing is when I hit this or cross this yellow block, I will then get a speed boost, speed five. Okay, the green block um, is a checkpoint that gives me a hundred points that will then tick down. So if I walk on here, you'll see I got my speed. And if I walk forward, you'll see I then have a score timer of 100. Okay, you'll see it'll count down backwards. And when, when it reaches one, it, it stops. Okay, now what the red red one does, it actually activates uh, that says I am now actually running this course, which means that when my timer reaches zero, and I am on the course, I will die. Okay, so th this is it. I'm actually controlling the starting and stopping and and scoreboarding and and timers with just these blocks now i put the blocks right above so you can actually see it but you can actually have the blocks underneath okay so you'll, uh, all right remove them but you can have it underneath another block and then just set your test or your detect for two blocks down instead of one block down okay so it's incredibly incredibly versatile i mean you can even have the other lines on the outside be for example your um, your your checkpoint so that when somebody does cross it, it means that they started. So I mean, I'm just using this as a basic example. Okay, so that is if uh, you can use it to do effects, use it to add scoreboards, um, and use it to start games. Then over here, let me just go to another one over here. You'll see that everything looks all inconspicuous. Okay, I mean, so I've got a bit of a cobble here and that is mixed up with uh, andesite. However, this is a, is a very, very special cobble. Okay, if I walk over the cobble, you'll see that it explodes. Okay, and if I am in uh, game mode zero, uh, yeah, zero, you'll see it'll explode, but I won't die. So it gives me, it gives me, oops, I can't fly. <laughs> it gives me the ability to jump over uh, obstacles without dying. Okay, so I'm going to have to, I'm just going to do a run. I mean, I will probably die because, okay, there we go. See my timer? It'll give me the, oh, I need to hit this green, oh, I missed it, but it, yeah, okay, let's try it one more time. I'm terrible at this, I am so, this, it can be done, it's just a little bit, there we go. As you can see, that gave me the ability to, 
jump over that obstacle. I just need to avoid the rest of them. Otherwise, it'll completely ruin my... Okay, and then this is the next one I want to show you. Okay, did you see that? Okay, let me just... Uh, okay, I'm going to die anyway. Let me just really die, and then there we go. Okay, now I'll show you game mode one. All right, so let me quickly have you... So that was the one. Um... So I now have this action jump pads, which will kind of launch me into the air in the direction that I'm moving in, which um, it will just automatically, well, there's nothing to it. It doesn't need to be reset or anything. It's, it, it is just always, always there. As you can see, I'm just spawning in a creeper with a fuse of zero. Okay, so that's, that's the one. Um, and then the other one is I've actually testing for redstone ore that is two blocks uh, underneath the player okay so that if I uh, for example jump on this over here you'll see that it'll it'll launch me in the air over and over and over okay so what I'm doing is um, I'm re when, when it detects this redstone or two blocks underneath me it then replaces it with a redstone block which then launches me I then look for a pis an extended piston one block below me and I then clone this whole thing uh, to where it is. Okay, so that causes this thing to just fire off wonderfully like that. I can then also add uh, a score, like saying, because I've now jumped on it, uh, I can now execute a score if I detect, you know, that block. So this is really, really a great, great, great little um, uh, new, new feature. I mean, it's fantastic. So what the black does that just stops my score so you know what the red did over there that says i am now running the track the black just stops it so that i don't die after i'm completed the course and the gold i will let speak for itself well come on oh yeah sorry i need to have i need to have a timer so the gold won't work unless i have a timer score so let me just give myself a timer score uh come on and there we go Boom. That's so if I have a timer score, it will then launch fireworks when I'm on a gold block. Now, as I said, these do not need to be. Um, oh, let me just get over that. These do not need to be above, as you can see. I mean, you can just cover it up so that nobody can ever know that you've got the secret little controlling colored blocks <laughs> running around now i've seen a lot of cool ways that people has already have already used this so do go check check out some of the other people's channels um i'll, I'll link a, a few a few down below okay so let's quickly have a look at this mini game or how this all works so first off over here i just have a scoreboard players remove at all who has a scoreboard time of at least one i'm going to be removing one from their score which means that if i um which is a scoreboard players set Dragnos uh, 100. So if I give myself 100, oops, uh, timer, you'll see that it'll run the timer. Okay. And then when it gets to zero, it'll stop. So it will never go into negative numbers because I'm looking for anybody who's got a minimum of one. Okay. And then here is the detection. So first off, uh, I'm looking for the green clay. So, which is the hardened clay five, and then I'm going to set the scoreboard for any for the player to to 100. Now you'll see I'm using at p here because I'm executing at the at all players, and when this is successfully found, it will then run this command on the closest player to that player, which is the player itself. Okay. Um, then yellow clay is exactly the same thing, except it'll give me an effect. So I'm going to have hardened clay, and it's going to give me an effect. Um, this is what sets the redstone block. Okay, so I'm looking for a, uh, I'm looking for a redstone ore with a damage value of zero, and then I'm going to reset it by, uh, by putting it, uh, replacing it or setting, set blocking a redstone block. Right, uh, and then I'm going to clone a jump pad if I find an extended sticky piston. Okay, with that blocks over there. So if I uh, at anywhere have a sticky piston so if i just go do that let's put it over there uh I'll just do that where is my sticky piston like there okay and let me just put down any block so just put a little redstone block no that won't yeah that will work okay so if i now do that all right you'll see that okay it's because it can't okay hold on 
Uh, oh yeah, it's because I need that block over there. Oh, there we go. You see it's cloned it. Um, that is not a good example. There we go. But anyway, you'll see this will just work fantastically over and over and over and over again. Okay. Um, right, so, so that's clone the jump pad. Then this sets the score. So when you go over the uh, red clay, okay, it will then set the scoreboard for pl for uh, the player's start to one. Now it'll only set the player's start to one if the player has a score of zero um, for that start. So it means that they, sh they can only start when they're not already started. Okay, and then the black, uh, the coal block then sets the player's start to zero. Okay, the give speed, same th thing, uh, effect with that, uh, play firework is exactly the same, um, so I'm looking for, but this time I'm going to, remember I couldn't actually, um, couldn't actually activate it because I didn't have a scoreboard score, well here it is, so execute at all players, who has at least one on the timer score, uh, detect if they are standing over a gold block, and if they are, summon a firework rocket entity that does all of that stuff. It's a long command. Okay, um, then we have the little um, cobblestone. So I'm running two commands at the same time in the same tech when somebody's over cobblestone. So at all players, detect if the player uh, is one block underneath that player, they, they are standing on cobblestone uh, with a damage value of zero. If they are, Okay, give that player um, a, a resistance effect for three seconds of 25. So it pretty much makes the player for three seconds indestructible. Okay, then the next thing that happens is I then summon a creeper with a fuse of zero that will then blow up and the, the player will go flying up in the air. And then right at the end, now the reason I put this block at the end is because um, I'm probably going to work a bit more on this and actually add... Uh, a few command blocks, so this just gives me a bit of breathing room. Uh, this is just, it says kill at player, no, actually we should actually make this at all, who score timer minimum zero, score timer zero, so if they ha their timer has run out and they have a start score of one, it'll kill them. <laughs> so it doesn't matter whether I'm in creative or whether I'm in survival or anything, if I run, if I trigger the start, the red red line over there and my timer runs out I will die okay it's as simple as that now um, to show you one other thing you can do as well is you can actually stagger them so even though I have a yellow block over here so if I if I take a yellow block okay you'll see that look at my speed so I'm quite fast already okay however if I run over this yellow block over here all right you'll see that I suddenly have a drastic increase in speed. Now that's because I've actually set this up to detect two blocks down, or three blocks down. So even though I'm running over that one, I'm actually testing for a block three blocks down from that one um, to see if you know if that is a, a yellow clay, and if it is, to give me a much, much faster speed. Okay, that's it. I mean, there's gonna I'm going to be doing a lot of work and re- building a lot of my contraptions using this because it's, there is so, so many ideas. I mean, I've just listed the basics for that I've already done in the past uh, and how to replace it with this, but um, I've got a lot more concepts coming out with this. Cool, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will check you all later.